Hi everybody, this is Mel with Melly Playful and I'm playing Entwined. We're still doing the story and we are on the 8th lifetime and this one actually represents freedom. So, there's not really much for me to to talk about anymore. <laughs> I'm, I've kind of like covered all the basics. So, instead I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like ask you all questions. So, when was it that like what age was it when you first felt real freedom like where something just kind of let you go and you're just like wow I'm finally free I can just break free and and this could be from anything like you know you could be from like oh I finally have my driver's license and I can go do what I want you know that to me wasn't a thing because <laughs> my parents I got my driver's license but there was like strict rules you no know, what one was allowed to be in my car unless I had permission you know because of insurance you know very strict rules that were actually very important rules and so when I turned 18 I really didn't feel like that was a freedom that I got either because then you yeah, had to like I went to work and I was you know doing things and being responsible um I think my real freedom was when I finally figured myself out where I looked at myself really hardcore and I was like you know you don't have to be bonded to so much upset of the world you don't have to be bonded to pain and hurt you can let that go and you can have the freedom from that so I think that that is really when I first felt like the freedom um and it was more like a spiritual freedom and then also um i had cancer for quite a while and when the doctor came and told me that you know we got it all it's all it's gone you know you're you're good i cannot tell you like all of a sudden i felt like wow i am f gonna be free from the sickness I'm going to be able to actually do things and live life and and that felt great so go back into your life and think about like when was there like and you don't have to tell me you don't have to tell me in the comments you don't have to do anything but think about that for a moment about like when was there a moment in your life that you got to feel true freedom freedom from something maybe it was like because like when I quit smoking and I was able to break that bondage from um, nicotine that was a real freedom because then all of a sudden like I could be hanging out with my friends or my family and not have to go outside and smoke a cigarette not being worried that I smell like smoke you know there's so many freedoms out there so take a moment think about that and be thankful that you can have that freedom that you can actually feel like like you're free and that you can experience life without anything bonding you to it and so that's pretty much it has nothing to do with this game <laughs> freedom I think was um, representing in this game is where they're getting to be together and just kind of like be free with each other <laughs> but that was my take on on the game and yeah sorry guys I just I'm kind of running out of things to say in my commentary <laughs> anyway this game is absolutely beautiful um this level gave me a little bit of a problem as you see I was having issues like keeping up with everything it's like it moves so fast but it's I really like this level I thought that it was really pretty just the everything seemed very simple and almost felt like they were flying through the sky and and everything was fine you know I know the fish is supposed to represent water while the bird's supposed to represent air you know but it's it's absolutely beautiful. I see that, like, I keep thinking that, like, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to mess up the whole time. And I did. Like, it's, it was, it got to the point where I was just having such a hard time moving both my joysticks and keeping it going. I didn't really get to cover too much of the other, um, because of, the other lifetimes because I had just found out about their names um, on the internet so the first one was innocence and second one was liveliness the third one was loneliness ambition is the fourth the fifth was anxiety 
the sixth was exploration, the seventh was enlightenment, and then this one, of course, is freedom. I do have in the description of the videos, I do have the actual list of what each lifetime is. The next one's going to be eternity, and then the very end, there's a trophy that you can get. It says um, fish and bird meet in the middle 200 times. That's called love, and I think that's great that they did that. But I do like how they made the achievements and the um, trophies to kind of match each lifetime. This game is like really colorful and I feel like they use their the colors very well. Um, what's your all's favorite color? And my favorite color is actually, it's, my whole life people would say, what's your favorite color? And I'd say purple. And it is really my favorite color. I like a, a darker, I don't like like, I mean I like all colors, but I like darker colors over like bright, you know, colors or soft colors. If I had to choose dark or soft, I'd go dark every time. And so, um, purple's my color, but the older I got, the more girly I started getting, and the more I started really getting into the color pink. And, yeah, like, and it's crazy because, like, I never liked pink. I was like, I don't like pink at all, but I actually really do like pink now. And so that's very odd for a bit. I like the, the darker pinks, and everything has to be dark. I don't, I don't know why. Even, like, my living room, everything's dark. Like, my furniture is dark. I don't, I don't know why I'm into, like, the darker colors, but it's me. This is really cool with all of, like, the tornadoes and stuff. Or the, I guess those are more like water sprouts. Maybe, well, no, because that's a tornado right there. Gosh, have y'all ever been in a tornado before? I've seen tornadoes, but I haven't ever actually been in a tornado. I've seen them, like, they've come up by our house, and it was enough to where we can actually feel it. And as a matter of fact, there was one time I was standing outside smoking a cigarette, and a tornado was going right up the street from me, and I had no clue. I was just outside smoking a cigarette, went inside and took a nap. And so it's, you know, it didn't come at us, but it was close enough to where we can get some of it. But I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. Thank you all so much for coming and watching and your friendship and your support. I really, really love each and every one of y'all. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye.